Hi, everyone, and welcome into the 2024 Heart Men's Soccer Media Day. I'm your host, Nick Vassos, with the Kansas City Comets of the Major Arena Soccer League, as well as Fox 4 in Kansas City. We are excited to be talking Culver Stockton College Hedge Coach uh, Tyler Hamilton and student athlete Lane Helvey. Uh, guys, great to have you here. It's good to chat with you. Uh, how's, are you guys started training yet, and how's it going? Uh, we appreciate you having us on. So today is our first day of moving. So guys are getting settled in and then we'll jump right into some fitness tests this weekend and not much time to, to hold back. So we'll be getting right into it very quickly. All right. That's awesome. Coach, let's start with you here. Uh, your squad was selected the Musco Team Sportsmanship Award for the sport of men's soccer last year. And your squad was honored at the Heart Summit a few weeks ago. What did that honor mean to you and your program? Yeah, you know, we take a lot of pride in that. Um, coming off of a year before where we had quite a few yellows, quite a few red cards, it was something we wanted to get under control from the get-go. So to be recognized for that, you know, it's something that makes us, you know, show that what we're, what we're doing is working and we're taking steps in the right direction, um, not just on the field, but also off the field. Coach, introduce us to Lane and, and tell us about the importance he is to your group. Yeah, so Lane is a senior. Uh, this is his second year with the team. He's a transfer from Lewis and Clark Community College. Um, last year, unfortunately, his season was cut short due to injury. So we're expecting, you know, some very big things from him this year. He'll be um, primarily a defender and winger for us. Um, and so, yeah, we're looking for some really big things out of him this year. All right. Lane, you're up now. You're a senior this year. How do you hope to step up in your senior year as you uh, take on a little bit more of a leadership role? Yeah, like you said, my season was cut short last year, so I didn't really get the chance to to bond with the team through conference play. So I'm really trying to do that more this year and bond with the team and just get games played. Uh, you're from Chesterfield, Missouri, Lane, so around the St. Louis area, of course. Talk about your soccer journey and when you started playing soccer. Yeah, I started real young, like two, three, just touching the ball. Uh, my mom was a good soccer player. She played Division One at UMSL, so she was a big part of my life and my soccer career. And I uh, played for Lou Fuse uh, for five years. Uh, great team, great club. Uh, they, they really helped me develop and bring me where I am here. Lane, how would you hear about Culver Stockton and what brought you to the college? The, the previous coach here had uh, had originally recruited me to come here, and I had known of it because it's in such a great conference. Uh, the Heart of America Conference is one of the top conferences, and so I had always known about Culver Stockton, and when he told me I had a chance to play here, I, I took it right away. You know, I've, I've been doing this since my fourth year doing this, and I tell you, every time I talk to coaches and players, they rave uh, – about just how tough the heart conference is. And coach, I'll ask you, uh, routinely, the heart gets three or four teams into the NAIA national tournament. Uh, talk about uh, the, this, this heart, uh, this, uh, this heart league and, and just how tough it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, every day is a battle. There's no off days. And so to prepare for that, you know, we needed to kind of make our schedule a little bit more challenging and, the non-conference side of things so we've added some teams that you know the last year two years they've made the national tournament so hopefully when it comes time for conference we're ready for that level and it's not a big jump up for us so so that's by design so the the non-conference portion of your schedule is really to sort of get ready for the rigors that you're going to face in the regular season of the hard conference Yes, absolutely. You know, I don't think it does us any good to go beat teams three, four, five, six, nothing. We're not gaining anything from that. I want us to be prepared to where we're battle ready going into that first week of conference play so we can start collecting some wins and um, know what it feels like. So it's not such a shock to us. Last year, we played, you know, Mid-America the first uh, week of conference and our guys did well, but, you know, it definitely was a step up that we weren't quite ready for. So I think for us, it's getting prepared for that early on. So it's not such a shock to us. Lane, as a player, what do you need to do in order to get ready for the heart conference? You need to be in shape. These these players are all fast. They're all good. They're, there's not a bad player out there. So you need to be in shape, technically sound. And that's really it. 
let's talk a little bit about some school lane for you. What's your major and what do you enjoy most about it? Uh, my major is sports management. And uh, in the future, I want to be a coach. I want to help my community give back and, and show kids that like me, that they can play at a high level. And Lane, as a student athlete, you know, you really have to balance uh, your, your, your time. Uh, and it, it's all about, the, it's all about balance. I'm wondering how you balance your academic responsibilities with what you're required to do for the team and student life as well. Yeah. Yeah. We're student athletes. So you definitely have to keep up with both. If you're not keeping up in the classroom then, and then you usually can't play and we have a certain GPA you have to meet in order to play to keep kids eligible and in the classroom. All right. Uh, final question, coach, you get a chance to coach your alma mater. Uh, how much do you take from the experience of playing for Culver into now coaching, coaching at Culver? Yeah. You know, it's, it's a feeling that's hard to describe. It's, a lot of pride in it and you just want to do it well. So I think there's a little more pressure on my shoulders because I do, you know, I get a lot of texts from old teammates and friends of, you know, Hey, what's going on with the team? How are you guys looking this year? So, you know, there's, there's a lot of pride with that. And so I'm hoping that we can take a step in the right direction this year. And there's a lot of coaches in the, in, in this conference that have stuck around for a while. I mean, uh, coach Hodzic, he's been around for a while. Uh, Coach Nichols was there forever. I think he recently left a couple of years ago. So a lot of these coaches that come to this conference, they they come to coach and they stay. Yeah, you know, the NAIA does such a good job of allowing international students to come in. So we have such a large field of players to pick from that it's a lot of fun, you know, building your team and kind of making your system. And it's something that you get stuck on. You want to stick around here and, and try and be successful. And with as competitive as our conference is, if you can tie together a couple wins, you have a chance at making the national tournament, the conference tournament. And, you know, that's something everybody wants to do. And it's addictive. So people want to stick around around and play in this league yeah no doubt you guys are going to be working hard to get there this year no doubt about it that is head coach Tyler Hamilton of Culver Stockton College as well as student athlete Lane Helvey thanks to both of you and we wish both of you best of luck this year thank you sir have a good day thank you you too thank you